If you've been looking for a way to be able to play Android games on PC, even if you don't have an Android device at all, look no further. I'm going to walk you through how to do it step by step. We'll be using the Knox App Player, which is essentially an emulator for Android devices. So even if you don't have one at all, you'll be able to run the Google Play Store and be able to play all of your Google apps, whether it's with your existing Google account or if you want to create a new one. The best part is it's all free. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, after I show you how to do it step by step, I'll even show you how to record your gameplay in a way that's also free if you want to be able to share it on Facebook or wherever with your friends. So to get started, you can go to this URL or just click the link in the description below and it'll bring you to the Knox App Player website. Just click on download and it'll start downloading. And once you've downloaded it, you can just click on the download. I'm using Chrome here, so it just shows up in my download bar and you'll probably be prompted and you can start the install. Now I did take a look at the custom settings and there's nothing too crazy here. It doesn't install any additional bloatware or anything like that. So you don't even have to worry about the custom install. You can just go ahead with the regular install and be warned it takes a while to download. For me it took about two hours. Hopefully it'll download faster at some point but it's a fairly large download but it is totally going to be worth it. I promise you. So I was prompted if I would want to install this device software. Of course, I trust it, so I clicked install. And then you just wait through the installation process, which goes very quickly compared to the download process. And bam, you are in like Flynn baby. Look at this. It is like you have an Android device right on your desktop. So you could just open up the Play Store. And it's going to ask you if you want to add a Google account or you can use an existing one. I'm going to use my existing Gmail. And then you sign in. I'll just uh, blur this out. Typical, do you accept the terms of service? I say yes. This is really Google stuff, not the Knox app player. And then it'll sign you in. It even gives you the option to back up and restore your data to your Google account, which of course you'll say yes because you don't want to lose any of your game data. And I'm skipping adding payment info because I'm just getting a free game. But of course, like any device, you can add your payment info. Now I know exactly what I'm going to download. I'm going to get Fallout Shelter because that's the entire reason I was looking for a solution like this in the first place because the Android version of Fallout Shelter is actually different than the iOS version. It prompts you if you want to use Wi-Fi only, which of course we're on a PC, but the App Store thinks we're on an Android, which is why it's asking, unless you're using a data plan for your computer. And then you just wait for the game to install. Boop, 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 boop. And now look, you can see it even gives you the notification in the Windows taskbar that you're done. And oh my god, look at this. We have a game right on our computer. It even asks us if we want to receive notifications. Now I got prompted to update Google Play services, which I did, and everything worked like a charm. Now I'll give you a little tour of everything the program does on the sidebar. So you know how sometimes a device asks you to shake it for certain features? That's what this shake button does. And you can also see the keyboard shortcut for it, which is really handy. There you go. And then we've got the keyboard control if you want to use your keyboard instead of your mouse to control, which does make it nice and easy to use if you just want to sit back and chill in your chair. And you can exit out of it just by clicking the X button. You can use screen capture and that lets you take a screenshot of what you're doing. As you can see, we just did right there. Virtual location, which allows it to take the location of your device. My computer, which shows you your computer. You can go full screen. You can adjust the volume of everything. You can close the application and you can add an APK file. Finally, you could go back, you can go home, and you can go back to the menu. Now as a bonus, if you want to be able to record your gameplay, you don't even need any additional hardware. It is super easy. You can download Open Broadcaster software, which is totally free. And there's tons of tutorials on YouTube for how to use it. And I'll be creating my own tutorial on how to do that too. You can choose either window capture or monitor capture. And we'll actually go through setting up a scene here. 
And right now I'm just dragging it off to my second monitor, but it is actually recording everything I'm doing. And that's how I recorded this video. And you can even stream. So if you wanted to be able to stream mobile games, you have a completely free, both financially and hardware free, except for your computer solution to be able to do so. I'm just hoping that Knox makes this for iOS too because it would be amazing <laughs> because this is honestly so much better than how I currently record and I cannot recommend it enough. The link to download the Knox app player is in the description below. Be sure to share this video with a friend if you think it would help them and in the comments below let me know if you end up using it or if you have any questions because I'll be around to answer them. Thanks for watching.